second the next important thing you know that we had discussed in the previous lecture that uh, in the iris in the ciliary body there comes your short, long posterior ciliary artery what comes friends long posterior ciliary artery look let me name it this is long posterior ciliary artery right and we knew that from anterior side if there are, here are the muscles the muscular branches of the ophthalmic artery will give a branch here and they will pierce the sclera and will enter the ciliary body and this artery is called your anterior ciliary artery anterior ciliary artery right so both of them will join at the basal part at the base of this ciliary body the anterior ciliary artery and the long posterior ciliary artery will join and they will make a circle here and this circle is called the major arterial circle right this is called the major arterial circle now let me name it here major arterial circle right and from this circle look carefully from this circle the uh, one branch will enter to the iris through the base of this iris and it will jump inside the stroma of your iris and uh, it, it is responsible to supply blood to the iris so it will give some capillary branches right to the iris and they will go to the margin right to the papillary margin of the iris and they will make here the minor circle what they make they will make the minor circle so the major circle arterial circle is present in your ciliary body and the minor arterial circle right minor arterial circle is present in your ciliary i'm sorry in your iris right so this will further go branches now look if you see uh, this structure here i will draw it uh, in front of you guys at this point look carefully if this is your eyeball right and here is your uh, cornea and behind cornea you have your iris and let me draw this iris with this black color right now look behind the eye above the iris on all sides on all side you have your ciliary body so this will be your ciliary body and behind that there will be on all sides there will be your choroid now look carefully the major arterial circle is present here all over look friends this is your major arterial circle which is present all over your ciliary body now look this i will be like this right so this arterial circle is present all over your eye right on all sides okay so this is your major arterial circle now from major arterial circle if you remove the cornea from major arterial circle from all sides capillaries and artery will enter to your iris right and they will join each other at the pupillary end of your iris like this like this right and they will make another circle here they will make another circle here and this circle is called your minor circle and this circle will also be like this if i show you in this uh, uh model right this is your cornea if you remove the cornea you can see behind the cornea there is your uh iris right and here is here will be your minor circle and from minor circle uh, minor circle will be formed by these arterial branches of this major circle so if you remove this sclera there will be your major circle right so major circle is formed by anterior ciliary artery right 
this anterior ciliary artery and the long posterior ciliary artery which comes from all side towards the ciliary body so like this this is your major circle right and major circle will give branches towards the uh, irs on all sides right and then we, there will be the uh, around the pupil right around the pupil there will be the formation of the ma minor arterial circle i hope you understand this also right friends now the next important thing about iris you know that we have told you that if you if you uh, if you are looking at an intense light there is the much intensity of the light the, the the size of your pupil will be smaller right but if you look at dim light or in darkness the size of your pupil will be enlarged now who is responsible to enlarge the size of the pupil and to constrict the size of the pupil so there are certain muscles which are responsible to do this adjustment as i told you that in the previous lecture that iris is an adjustable diaphragm right it increases its pupil size and it decreases its pupil size right now look carefully here uh, in front of this epithelium right in front of this epithelium there is a muscular layer right there is a muscular layer and this muscular layer is responsible to do what to dilate the pupil size to dilate your pupil size so this muscular uh, layer which is responsible to dilate the size of your pupil this is called dilator pupil i right this layer is called this layer is a muscular layer right and this uh, look this layer will also be present all over the iris right if you have iris here so there will be the dilator pupillae layer in a circle form right so whenever these muscles will contract right they will do what they will pull the iris right towards the ciliary body on all sides right like this let me draw it again here oh, oh we have a very small space <clears throat> look this is your iris and this is the pupil right now this is the what this is the that muscle layer dilator pupillae muscles right so look carefully whenever these muscles will contract they will pull the, uh, the the pupillary margins of the iris towards themselves and they will increase the size of your iris right so this layer of muscles are responsible to dilate the size of the people that's why we say that these are the dilator pupillae muscles right so dilator pupillae muscles are present in front of the pigment epithelium and behind the stroma of your iris that's done and who is who is there and who is responsible to constrict the size of the pupil again so whenever you want to constrict the size of your pupil these muscle will relax again dilator pupillae will relax and here is a rounded layer of muscles and these muscles are responsible to constrict the size of your pupil so these are called the constrictor pupillae so whenever these muscles will contract the the size of your pupil will become narrower so we say there is constrictor pupillae and the constrictor pupillae layer is present in a rounded fashion around the pupil right so they are present here so these will be your constrictor pupillae muscles which are present around your iris right like this so this is constrictor pupillae muscles right let me name it also constrictor pupillae right friends okay so constrictor pupillae muscles are responsible to contract to decrease the size of the pupil and dilator pupillae are responsible to dilate the size of your pupil and will shrink uh, the the will uh, shrink the size of your iris right friends so we discussed about the stroma 
we discussed about the epithelia and this is all about the structure of your iris in the next lectures uh, on discussion regarding the blood supply of the eye we will also discuss all the blood supply of iris the ciliary body the choroid and the retina and everything I will discuss in detail inshallah so this that's, that's all about the structure of your iris friends I hope you like the lecture and please if you like our lectures please invite your friends to our channel also and uh, write in the comment section to me and so that yes we have learned these all these structures see you in the next lecture until then Allah Hafiz.